Welcome back survivalists. Today we're taking a look at BattleBox Mission 77. So BattleBox is how I discovered the latest and coolest prepping and survival gear out there. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. So the first item in this month's box is going to be the KPL Knife Pivot Lube Knife Oil. So that's this stuff right here. So this is pretty cool. This is oil specifically meant for your pocket knives and your knives and other tools like that. And I think it's, it is pretty important to maintain your gear, right? You want to keep a nice sharp blade, nice sharp edge on your knife blades. And you also want to make sure it's pretty well lubed up. I'll say there is nothing more satisfying than a, uh, a well lubed knife. It sounds a little weird, but a knife that you can easily just flick open without looking at it, right? Pull it out, flip it open with one finger, one little motion. That's what you really want. And you can tell that your knife needs some lube when you go to do that and only opens up halfway, right? If you have to use two hands to open up your knife, you probably need some lube like that. So this is pretty cool. This is definitely a good item to have for anybody who actually uses a pocket knife. This would also be really great for your Leatherman as well. There's a lot of different functions um, and gadgets in most Leathermans. And I'm willing to bet that it gets a lot of crud that builds up on that, a lot of lint and debris from being in your pocket all the time. So sometimes it's good to really clean it off and use some lube like this just to make it all just function a little bit more. And it actually, a lot of times, protects the, the metal as well, protects your gear. So this is the first item in the basic box of this month's Battle Box Mission 77. This is KPL Knife Pivot Lube Knife Oil. So, Pretty cool that it's specifically for knives. So I like that a lot. BattleBox gives you a lot of knives, and a lot of those knives have some moving parts in it. So that's great that they're helping you maintain that gear as well. So the next item in the basic box is going to be the Quick Cord BattleBox Edition. That's this guy right here, and it looks like they've made a special one just for BattleBox. So what this is, is a container for your cordage, right? There's nothing more frustrating than going to grab some cordage and it's just a big bundle, it's just a big mess. If you reach into your backpack and this is what you're presented with, right? Just a big mess of cordage and now you gotta spend time trying to find the end of it and untangle all of this. Oh, that's actually pretty easy. But this is a struggle that all of us have gone through. I know, if you've gone camping or you have dealt with 550 cord, almost guarantee that you've struggled with that before. Now you can, there are some designs that you can store your cordage in a hank of paracord like this, kind of a specific way to wrap up your paracord. And I do do that and it is pretty useful. It's not foolproof though, right? This does come untangled when it's rummaging around in your backpack. That happens a lot. And so that's what the purpose of this guy here is. This is supposed to help keep your cordage uh, just more tightly organized so you have one end that you can pull out and use. And I, I think that's pretty cool. That's actually a pretty useful item uh, quite often. This way when you need cordage, you have it. Now this actually has another function in that it has a spot to hold on to a glow stick as well. So I'm a big fan of glow sticks. I use these quite often in my prepping kits. So it looks like you can actually attach the glow stick to the top of it right here like that. I like that a lot because glow sticks and cordage do go well, pretty well together. You can use this to make a signal, right? You can take the glow stick out, tie it to your cordage. You can spin it around. You can hang it from a tree, right? There's a lot of different things that you can, ways that you can incorporate cordage into a glow stick to get somebody's attention. So incorporating a glow stick in with a cordage container like this, like it does kind of make sense. What's neat is this also has a cutter, cutting edge right there as well. So you get, pull out as much cordage as you want, then you can cut it with the exact same tool. All right, so when it's all said and done, we got that hank of cordage that we stuck in here. You do need to still use that design of a hank of cordage where you wrap it up in that specific pattern, but this is gonna keep it all in there secure. And now you just have this little end here that you pull out as much cordage as you want. You wrap it around here, I'm guessing, and let's see if this cuts it, just like that. Look how easy that is. So you need some cordage, you just wrap it around. That makes life so much easier. I love that uh, that design, especially with having the, the blade built into it. So this is pretty cool. I like this design a lot. 
And then as like, like I was saying, you have this uh, glow stick here that you can detach. You could hang this up in a tree. You can spin it around like this to make a signal for rescue, something like that. Like having a glow stick is just a pretty useful tool. So this is going to protect your cordage from keep getting tangled up in your backpack or in your campsite. Um, I like that a lot, man. I, I think that's pretty cool. So when you need that cordage, you know it's there and there's no BS, there's no nonsense of trying to untangle a mess to get a little bit of cordage. When you need cordage and you're in a pinch, you can quickly get some cordage for that situation. That, that's pretty, pretty slick. So that is the Quick Cord Battle Box Edition. So pretty neat, man. That's a pretty innovative design and like a pretty cool little gadget right there. All right, so moving along, the next item in the basic box is going to be the Extreme Weather Survival Edition. So I love it. So this is by Outdoor Life. I've seen some of their um, survival books before. I may even have some somewhere. This whole stack right here is all survival books right here. So I'll be adding this to my collection there. And this is for extreme weather. What I like about that is that most disasters that we are preparing for as preppers, most disasters that you should be prepared for are natural disasters. They're hurricanes, they're floods, they're tornadoes, they're blizzards, right? They're earthquakes. And so that's what this book specifically is talking about. And what I like about the Outdoor Life Edition books is that it's got a lot of pictures, a lot of illustrations, a lot of demonstrations on how to do these specific things. Um, so it's actually kind of an entertaining to actually learn this stuff. Like this one here, the Bushcraft Bible. I'm not really wild about it because it's all text. There are no very few illustrations or pictures or anything. All the pictures are black and white. It's just like, it's like reading a textbook. So I do like it when they make it just a little bit more visual, a little bit more entertaining. They kind of tell a story with it. Like this type of stuff is much more consumable. Even for like a nerd like me, I could consume this much easier than I can uh, just black and white text. And what I like doing is I bring books like this with me when I go camping. This thing's got some weight to it. So if I'm hiking a lot, I probably wouldn't bring it too far. But a lot of times I'll bring these Bushcraft 101 and Bushcraft advanced bushcraft i'll bring those books with me when i go camping just to give me something to read and just kind of like practice some of my skills so something like this would be a great addition uh well to your your bookshelf or to your coffee table but you could also leave this in your home emergency kit as well you know there's a hurricane coming let's get the emergency kit out let's get the reading material out. let's start preparing what does this say to do in here to prepare for a hurricane or um a blizzard or something like that so yeah, I'm a big fan of these Outdoor Life books. I'm a big fan of this. I like it when it's easily digestible material with diagrams and bright colored images. Uh, so very cool. And I like that it covers natural disasters because that is the vast majority of the disasters that you should be preparing for. So that is everything in the basic box. Now before we move on to the advanced box and the pro box and the pro plus box, I wanna give a quick shout out to BattleBox. BattleBox is how I discover the latest and coolest prepping and survival gear out there. They're a monthly subscription service that have four different tiers of boxes that you can sign up for starting at $30 a month. So if you wanna sign up for BattleBox and open up these boxes with me every single month, you can use my affiliate link down in the description below. And I also have a code down in the description below where where my viewers exclusively can get 10% off of their first purchase with BattleBox. So make sure you use my affiliate link and my coupon code down below to save 10% off on your first BattleBox order. And then you can open up these battle boxes every single month with me and discover the latest and coolest gear out there. So let's move on to the advanced box. So the advanced box has everything in that basic box plus one additional item. And this month it is the Rust Tube Beach. So that is this guy right here. It comes with the little um, air cartridge. So it's a little hard to see this wrapped up, but what this is, is an inflatable, um, like lifesaver type of thing. It's like a, an inflatable emergency um, item for if you're out in the water. So what you wanna do is you screw this guy, this canister into here like this. And if you're on a boat that is sinking or you need to throw a lifesaver out to somebody, all you need to do is pull on this tab here. 
This will inflate this entire bag and you've got a lifesaver, you've got like a little raft type thing that they can hold onto in an emergency situation. But what's great is that this doesn't take up as much space as a normal, you know, lifesaver or life preserver, whatever you want to call it. This can actually fold back up. Let's see how compact I can get it. And you can store it inside this pouch. Let's see if I can actually do that. I can, yep, even with that air canister in there. All right, I'm excited I was actually able to get everything back in the pouch. Usually, you know, you always have trouble getting stuff back in there. But check that out. So now you've got this little pouch like this that you bring along with you. You keep it inside your kayak. You bring it, put it on your boat down by the docks or the beach or whatever. When you're going out on the water, you've got this really compact, you know, lifesaver right here. It actually has a strap around it. So if you wanted to, you could even put this around your waist. And in the emergency, you quickly open it up, you pull the tab, and this thing will inflate for you. I can even see this being really helpful if you are hiking a long distance, right? Let's say you're hiking some long trail and you have to traverse several rivers as well, right? Hiking across a river, going across a river when you have a big heavy backpack, that's a very scary thing. Um, a lot of people, people do drown that way. So having something like this, maybe you keep this on your chest. So if you slip into the water, the backpack is keeping you down. You can open this up, pull on it, and you've got something there inflatable that you can hold on to. And because of the strap, it's not going to float away, right? You can put this around you when you're traversing that river or going across that, you know, log across the river, something like that. You have this as a last resort. So this is a pretty cool item, right? It's kind of a specific thing. Uh, for a specific situation, but still pretty neat. I like this a lot. So that's everything in the advanced box and let's move on to the pro box. So the pro box is everything in the basic and the advanced box plus an additional item. This month it is the Calahola uh, Poncho 80 by 55 inch reversible packable down blanket. So this is a camping blanket essentially, camping down blanket. So this is kind of a new trend that we're seeing right now is that instead of bringing sleeping bags, people are bringing blankets with them and they sleep, they go camping with a big heavy blanket instead of a very confining bag. It's kind of a new thing. It's pretty neat. I like that the idea. I have no problem doing that. But this could also be used during an emergency situation as well. If you have a winter blackout, for example, you need some extra warmth. This could totally work. So I like how compact it is. I could easily see myself bringing this with me, hammock camping, let's say. So let's go ahead and unzip it and open this up. Just like that. Uh, I like that the pouch for it is included. It's zipped or uh, sewn into the actual blanket a lot uh, as well. I like that a lot. A lot of my hammocks have that. Some of them don't though, right? When they don't have the pouch sewn into the hammock, you know, that's a little frustrating. Um, I like it a lot when they have that, it's just so you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, this thing is pretty large, man. I could see this, I could definitely see myself, um, you know, you have a sleeping mat or something, or being in a hammock, you're gonna have an under quilt already. So not having a, an actual sleeping bag, but sleeping with just a down blanket like this, I could definitely see that being helpful. And this is down, which is one of the best uh, lightweight materials out there um, you, for camping, for sleeping bags, for under quilts, for blankets, for camping as well. So down is definitely the material that you want. But what, one thing with down is that it does kind of bunch up sometimes. And how they used to make it is all the down would fall to the bottom of the bag. So you can see here that they actually have kind of a grid system sewn into it and that's to keep the down inside each of these different squares so that it is kind of spread out and keeps you warm. So I like that a lot man, that's pretty cool. So this will be the first camping blanket that I have. Um, I am actually pretty eager to test this out because I 100% could see myself using this instead of a traditional sleeping bag when I go hammock camping. Um, because a lot of times when you go hammock camping, you you have what's known as an under quilt already. So you have something underneath of your hammock so that to kind of keep the hot air near your backside. Um, so I, having a an additional layer of my sleeping bag, it doesn't really do me a whole lot as long as I have that under quilt. So having just the under quilt and then having this on top, I think that could be a lot more comfortable um, because sleeping bags can be kind of 
confining, especially in a hammock. Uh, you're, you're already kind of confined and now you're even more kind of confined and it can get pretty awkward. So I actually have been very curious about what it's like to sleep with a hammock quilt instead, sorry, a camping quilt rather than an actual camping um, sleeping bag. So I'm pretty eager to test this thing out. I could also see this being pretty helpful in a lot of different situations. Having a very warm and very lightweight blanket, right, in your bug out bag, in your car emergency kit, I could definitely see this being helpful. And even just in your home emergency kit, you know, you, you may want some additional blankets like that. So that's pretty neat, man. I, I'm actually very excited about that. Um, I am 100% gonna be testing that out. And so that is the Kalalo Kaloha Poncho uh, Reversible Packable Down Blanket. I am totally mispronouncing that, but I'll have a link to that as well as all the other gear in this, uh, this video down in the description below. So we now have one more item. So that was everything in the Pro Box. Now we're going on to the Pro Plus, which is their knife of the month. So the Pro Plus box has all the other stuff plus their knife of the month. And this is a crazy looking knife. This is the Topps Knives Poker. That's what this is. And this knife uh, was specifically designed for self-defense. That's really what this thing is designed for. And it is a custom design uh, that Topps Knives has made, all made here in the USA. So this is it. So it would attach to your belt, probably like that is how I, I would do it. This is kind of like, I think it's called Crambit. Right, it's that, that's kind of that crazy looking, uh, really aggressive knife. That's very similar to what this is. And that's it right there. Man, that is one, yeah, look, it's just like a cram bit uh, with that. I think that's what it, how you pronounce it. That is one aggressive looking knife right there. But man, that is, uh, if I was fighting with somebody, I would not want them to have something like this in their hands. And I love this sheath. I love sheets like this where you can mount them horizontally. Um, so many sheets, you know, you mount them vertically and they're just kind of flopping around on your leg as you're hiking. I like having something like this that you can kind of conceal a lot more, right? You attach that to the back of your belt. You put your t-shirt over it. Nobody's going to see that. And you can just sneakily reach around and grab this and pull it out like that. And you can still make a fist with this as well. Um, God, man, I would not want to get punched in the face by somebody holding this thing. So pretty neat, man. This is the Top Knife Poker. Very unique design. This is the knife of the month they have here. Uh, this is pretty cool. I would definitely carry this in a situation where I need um, self-defense is kind of on my mind. And I really do love this um, sheath that comes along with it just because how easy it is going to be to conceal this as well you know it's not a big blade but you don't necessarily need a big blade like this is big enough that it would do some damage um yeah pretty cool this is specifically designed for self-defense uh feels very very solid i do like this little pinky hole here um, made by tops knives here in the usa so pretty neat. So that's everything in this month's Battle Box. Once again, if you guys want to join me every single month and open up these Battle Box, I do have an affiliate link down in the description below. And I do have a coupon code exclusively for my viewers where you can save 10% on your first month's uh, box or 10% on your first purchase on their website. Because a lot of times you can purchase this individual gear from them as well. So definitely go and check them out. And if you guys want to see some of my other Battle Box videos, you can click right here to check those out as well. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more prepping and survival videos. And I'll see you guys over in the next video.